Here, I want to watch the, the news. Are you, making, are you making headway at least? This is the news. Smack a gob. It is time for the only news that matters. And I'm dedicating this one to Sammy, the bullshit artist, hypocrite, Hagar, who lives rent-free in my head. Back on August 22nd of 2022, Sammy Hagar said he is not interested in rumored Van Halen tribute tour. Well, nobody asked him. The whole thing was Joe Satriani, David Lee Roth, Alex Van Halen. That's why he's saying this bullshit. Oh, I'm not interested. No, it's because nobody asked you. So as time comes by, we find out he was interested. We're just one month later on September 29th, 2022. Hagar now wants to play with Alex Van Halen and Michael Anthony. And Dave can join in too. So now he's making the rules. Hey, Dave can join in too. Nobody asked you. You'll never hear Mr. I Tell It As It Is, Eddie Trunk, ever bring this up. Because he lathers the butt of Sammy Hagar. He has his head so far up in it that he's drowning in Cabo Wabo, pickled eggs, and shrimp. And just look at his face here reading the Sammy Hagar book. That's a face that's amazed how many lies are in that book. You know, Eddie has no poker face. Now, last year, June 29, 2021, Sammy Hagar apologized for exposing Eddie's Van Halen's dark side in his memoir. Also said he wished he could take it back and he wished he never wrote it, which now turned out to be a lie, of course, because this month, November 11, 2022, Sammy Hagar explains one reason why Eddie Van Halen was jealous of him. Eddie hated it that he was friends with Michael Anthony. Why does he have to bring this up? This, I take back everything I said about Eddie, I feel bad about it. But he has to bring this up. And I have seen these Hagar defenders say, well, they ask him about Van Halen, what do you expect? Well, I mean, yeah, I expect him to bash Eddie, but he doesn't have to. How many rock stars get interviewed and don't throw out the dirt like this idiot does? Not all rock stars, but most rock stars avoid questions to bash people out of respect. Not Sammy, because he knows the only way he's going to get press is if he bashes on Van Halen. He has bashed on Ronnie Montrose in the past, but that didn't really spark up enough. So, But he knows if he says something negative about Van Halen, he'll get on the news. Like saying now that Alex Van Halen got to stick up his ass because he won't return his calls. Sammy said this before about Alex, how he won't return his calls. Stop calling him. Get the hint already. He acts like such a little victim. Oh, I don't know why Alex hates me so much. Well, maybe it has to do with your book and how you keep going back on your word about bashing Eddie. And I bet you Eddie Trump won't bring this up next time he pulls his head out of his butt and asks him more questions. Oh, what I would give to get Eddie Trunk here so I can ask him these questions. Why does he softball Sammy Hagar so much and then turns around and says stuff like, I tell it as it is, I hold nothing back. I mean, he's like Sammy. He does not practice what he preaches and neither does Sammy Hagar. And oh boy, I would love to interview him too. He has to be the most ungrateful person that ever existed. You think this guy would have more money than God today if he was not in Van Halen? It's because of Van Halen he had the money to buy this Cabo Wabo company and sell it for millions of dollars. He could not have done that before he joined Van Halen. If he never joined Van Halen, he'd be an opening act for a food truck festival. Seriously. What is the difference between Sammy Hagar and a mountain of manure? I really don't know. If you know, leave it in the comments below. So that's it for the only news that matters this time. So if you'd like to donate to my channel, I have a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to it and press that little notification bell and check out my podcast, the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast with Ian Wadzilla. He actually hates Sammy Hagar more than I do. 
Yes, I know it's hard to believe, but if you check out my podcast, you will find that to be true. So, stay frosty, listen to Black Sabbath, and smack them a gob. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. I have a man sitting next to me that has not only influenced the way I sing, the bands he's been in, been some of my favorite bands of all time, have influenced the way I write songs, the way I sing, the way I play guitar. Don't blame me, blame society. You suck. Fuck you, Eddie Van Halen.